All right, guys, you have watched me do buttercream a million times, so let's bypass that. We are going to get straight to stacking. This is a three tiered 10, 8, and 6. We are going to do a reverse method. Uh, instead of running a dowel down the center of all three cakes, I'm going to pre drill, if you will, a hole, and I'm going to slide the dowel, the cake onto the dowel. You can see that already on the board, secured with hot glue. I prefer this method. I think it's a little bit easier, and I don't have to worry about covering the top cake and ha having a hole. It won't have a hole. So there you go. Nice. Set down very easily. We kind of clear the crumbs off. Put that off to the side. We'll go get our candy melts. This is what we're going to use for our gold drip. Uh, we are going to do our base secure right now. I use bubble tea straws. Uh, they're economical and they work well. This will give us some stability when we go to put the next tier on so that it doesn't sink into itself. This is necessary. Please do not skip this step. Tier number two, the main reason we have this dowel through the middle of this cake is because it does need to travel and it is hella hot outside. So I wanna make sure that this puppy doesn't move. Hence the reason we're doing the dowel down the center. Now you can see I didn't cover the whole bottom tier. We're gonna do the same thing on the top. I only need to cover enough so that when I put the very top tier on there, you can see the gold peeking out just like you do on the bottom. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We have melted some yellow Wilton's candy melts. Uh, we thinned it down with just a little bit of Crisco shortening so that it would drip a little easier. These tend to be a little thick and we want it just a little bit thinner. So we've got the nice top. We're going to move the camera around so that you guys can get a little bit better of a view and hopefully I can see as well. And we're just gonna go ahead and start the drip. So I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy this part of it. Enjoy the music and uh, we'll be back in a few. So basically, we are now painting the very top of the cake. The drip isn't quite cold enough yet, but we can get the top of that done so that we can go ahead and stack that final tier. Uh, the gold that I use is uh, purchased from Evil Cake Genius. It's the best gold out there. Uh, it's a bit expensive, but you get a lot of it. So, you know, yeah, get that. Now, you see me doing the dowel. I didn't push it all the way through because remember I don't want it going through the top. Now see that's just enough that it goes in about halfway of that tier. Enough to make it secure and of course the chocolate helps as well. He's telling me you're not on center. I was on center. It's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the chocolate on the very top tier. I decided to kind of go with a little bit of a textured look on this one. I wanted it to look a little bit more like parchment. Wanted it to have a little bit of texture. I was trying to decide at this point whether or not I wanted to do like a circle pattern and then decided against it that I just wanted to do parchment. So we've got that top going there and uh, we're going to go ahead and do the drip method on the top as well.
All right, so the candy has now gotten cold enough that uh, I can go ahead and start painting the drips. You can see the very large container. That was my gold dust. Uh, what I'm using as the liquid is I am using Everclear, uh, which is basically pretty much pure grain alcohol, simply because it, uh, it dries quickly. So, you know, we get a heavy pigment and it dries fast, which is basically what we're looking for. I'm asking the prints right now to look in the viewfinder to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing because the camera's behind me and I can't see. The whole point of this was so that you all could see me paint. Obviously, this is sped up super, super fast. Otherwise, this would have been several hours long. Uh, this portion here took me a couple of hours to do. It's all hand painting on there. So I'm going to let you guys just watch the paint go. And again, enjoy the music.
And there you go. We have the finished product, mostly finished. Uh, I have added some black ribbon at the bottom of each tier just to make sure that uh, it had a nice clean look. There are edible images on there as well. Pretty much everything other than the ribbon is all handmade, hand painted, uh, and edible. So what I'm doing right now is I had made these plaques a couple of weeks prior because I needed to get for them to get really hard. We secured them with a little bit more of the chocolate to make sure they didn't go anywhere. I had painted the majority of that, but I'm doing final touches of gold because, you know, I just didn't feel like they were covered quite enough. So I'm just making sure that every area is painted properly and that we don't have any white sticking out. Nobody wants to see that. All right, so I am off getting the finishing touches, which is the graduation cap. There it is, the bottom of it. Uh, that is also handmade. I stuffed it full of Rice Krispie treats to make sure that it was nice and stable. Uh, we have the top part of that coming here in just a minute. Uh, I'm securing the bottom of this with, again, some more of the yellow chocolate. We don't want it going anywhere, so I didn't want to use buttercream. We'll put the top on here in just a second. Uh, we did put the tassel to the left hand side because after all, this is after graduation. We will go get the diploma here in just a second. Uh, that is a white diploma etched in gold. There it is. We will also secure that with a little bit of the gold. You can see the sails down there on the bottom. I kind of play around with them just a little bit in the video. To be quite honest, they were beautiful. but I just couldn't commit. You know, I had to ruin my buttercream in order to put those sails on there. So since I couldn't, I went ahead and just gave the sails to the client and told them if they wanted to put them on there to go ahead.